Hello and welcome to Tenses Explained. Today, we are going to have a look at how to talk about the future. First of all, you can express the future with a will construction. We do this when we want to give information about future events that are not yet certain or definite. Also, we use it when we want to talk about intentions or spontaneous decisions. Let's have a look at the dialogue and see how the will feature is used. Hey Kate, do you know what you are going to have? I haven't looked at the menu yet, but I think I will have to Caesar salad, as always. Good idea, I think I'll have that as well. So, any plans for the weekend? Me and my best friend want to go hiking, but I don't know about the weather. Well, I think it will rain all weekend. Look how cloudy the sky is already. You could be right. Maybe we will change the plan. In this short dialogue, both students use the will future several times. When talking about the food, the will future clearly shows that taking a salad is a spontaneous decision. Also, when Anne said, I think it will rain, we can see that the weather forecast is not definite and it may change. There is also another way to talk about the future. We can also use the present tense progressive for events that have been planned and are going to happen in the near future. Paul, what are your plans for tonight? The others are planning a party. That sounds great, but I promised my brother to go to the movies, so I won't make it to the party. What a pity, but have fun at the movies though. I'm already seeing the others at six, so maybe you can make it before your meeting. Sounds good, see you later. As you can see, the present tense progressive was used often to talk about future events. For example, they used meeting my brother to talk about things that are going to happen soon. The final way to talk about the future is the so-called going to future. We use it when we are talking about planned events on which we have an influence, as well as events which we are certain that they are going to happen. It can also be used to talk about events that are going to happen in the not too distant future, as well for commands and refusals. I'm going to stop now. I can't concentrate anymore. No, we have to finish that. Let's carry on. I don't want to. I'm going to join a new school in the autumn anyways. Well, then I'm not going to help you anymore if you don't want to pass the exam. Okay, but let's have a short break at least. Here, students were talking about several future events and always used the going to form. In I am not going to help you, going to was used to express a refusal. And in the phrase, I am going to join a new school, it describes a certain future event. As you can see, there are many different ways to talk about the future. And depending on the form we use, there may be a substantial difference in meaning. 